that they are certainly favored to come out on top. So we'll get things kicked off here in the 3v3 stage as uh, Pirates starting out with a fake kick off right off the rip, and they do gain possession, unfortunately, not much to do with it. It was funny. I was uh, I was sitting down and talking with as okay. Never mind, AJ. Fine. I'm gonna start off first 10 seconds and get a goal, which is exactly what Pirates don't want to do. But I was talking with uh, Eclipse, one of the, uh, the coaches in Endpoint, who unfortunately are eliminated. But talking about you know his replay analysis and going into like the World Championship and preparing him, there is a couple teams that do have a very strict kickoff style, and it primarily happens in some of these other newer regions as compared to um, like North America and Europe, where we just kind of showcase so maybe maybe eclipse is the one we should be listening to after they let in like four after pds <laughs> but uh all jokes aside and, and all that in mind it is interesting to see that evolution like it is the only set piece we have in rocket league and we still don't really uh take it as seriously as we could probably oh definitely there's definitely a lot of room for that kickoff to to be you know evolved and iterated on uh -oh. and you see that a few times with some of these players <laughs> oh my goodness first killer getting the touch the last touch but my goodness, AJ, getting a flip reset to keep this one going. I saw him pre jumping on the left hand side. I'm like, that's not good for anybody. Something's going <laughs> to happen. It always does. And I mean, this is pretty typical with FaZe. It's one of those teams that if you could play close to them, you can sometimes kind of get them in a tough spot. But when FaZe is just outclassing you, it's just like absolutely scary. And Skill's still able to get one back, and that's good for Pirates. That's the kickoff certainly going in their favor there. Snowy putting in a tough spot for first killer, and he just didn't expect skill still to be so fast. One back for Pirates. Yeah, it's the right idea, too. I mean, first killer, as soon as he is in that back post and going near post, he's like, yeah, there's no way I can get back to this anyway. So he just cleans out rotation and just hopes that the player next is able to get a touch. So again, good response here for Pirates to keep within one, but first killer, good shot on target. As we approach our first minute gone on by, has been a lot of phase on offense, and a lot of exciting shots, but again, Pirates trying to keep it simple and rightfully so. No need to overcomplicate things as this one gets thrown up to AJ, who's going to redirect that perfectly on target. Good save by Darth, but it's not over yet. First killer, pass across, and a good intercept by Skill Steel. Should be able to slow this one down momentarily and try to play it out of their own half, but aggressive challenges from phase and a pass underneath. Good read by Pirates. And I do think Pirates, the biggest thing that they could take advantage of in this game is the overconfidence from FaZe. You're seeing a lot of crazy mechanical plays coming out for them. And of course, they're good enough to pull them off, but they are taking some maybe lower percentage attacks onto the Pirates' side, and you have to be able to take advantage of it. That's a tough position. You definitely don't want to be isolated as the last man with two FaZe players chasing after you as FaZe put another away. You know, we talk about the tandem of AJ and first, but Sipical's no joke either. Moving up field, he knows exactly how he has to position, whether he goes for a demo or otherwise. And as long as they get him stopped on the tracks, then you just rely on your players to put a good shot on, which uh, on that on that side of face, not going to have a problem. And there's a lot to be learned here for Pirates, right? I mean, obviously, they come into this as extreme underdogs just on the experience level. Uh, and I think, you know, when you go up against a team like FaZe, who's been placing t uh, very high at, at majors across the season, you can learn a lot from a team like this as AJ puts away another one. A lot of control here going over to FaZe. Yeah, coming together for a pinch, and luckily it uh, hits the lip or the corner, as, and I'm not going to hit the button, I promise. But uh, that thing probably would have went through the wall is how fast it was going. So glad to see it goes up, and uh, unfortunate for Pirates, even with the demo paired, it does end up behind them so secondary shot could be a good placement but it is oh. it is actually gonna land good placement by snowy i thought uh the player on that backboard first I killer. Who that was yeah it was first killer on the backboard he just went too low <laughs> simple as that he went too low on the approach and slipped under the ball and i think his teammate had full trust typical full trust in uh first killer to get that touch didn't happen so another one back from pirates as you see they are able to strike this phase clan side they put away two goals here and phase still threatening and my goodness the control they have just inside the box of pirates is perfect pirates do get a good challenge to get out which i think is important you mentioned it that you know phase does like to play with their food a little bit and uh showcase those mechanics which i think for them at the same time is kind of dangerous because if they start feeling loose and going for these types of things what does exactly. that mean when they get even more space in twos and ones 
So uh, I, I do think it's dangerous that FaZe is able to just do this at will. Uh, but on the other side of things, that's where Pirates needs to capitalize. If they are going to keep showing that kind of level of disrespect, and maybe it's not, maybe that's just the way FaZe wants to play. Um, it is something that it is punishable. There is a lot of moments where they can, you know, take advantage of this. But if yep. FaZe is going to play this much offense, they're going to go with this demo heavy. It's going to be tough to stop. Shots like this are not going to stop anytime soon. Yep, uh, it's, it really is the only way I think Pirates would come out with a win in the threes at the moment, just because, again, you're seeing very crazy plays coming out from FaZe. A little bit wild on the attack. As you Pirate. see AJ streaks across yeah. the, <laughs> just flying through, just uh, see elbow moves coming out. <laughs> every time they switch to a Pirates player, right, I see their FOV and I see AJ flying across the screen. <laughs> He's just all over everyone, and you're seeing how tough it is for Pirates to break out with control. Sipical threatening the shot here, and almost a good save, but AJ putting it away in the end. Good angle on that shot as well. The initial pressure came in, but again, the in and out, the ability to recover. <laughs> I, I think Sipical would have had that, but uh, AJ, yeah. good shot too. Well, uh, steal right at the end there. Space now we call up. It's all yeah. about the teamwork, man. Putting up six, almost seven there. First killer denied by Darth. Minute and a half left to play here in game one. It'll be interesting to see actually, uh, I guess, which poison uh, Pirates want between 1v1 and twos <laughs> coming out of this game. Again, it, it really doesn't get much, uh, or it gets a lot harder, I should say, as you move down. I think, you know, the individual skill starts to separate itself when you start removing players. Uh, because in threes, you can take advantage of, you know, overcommits right, right. or just disorganization or boost. But you don't get that type of luxury in twos and, and ones um, as much against good players, I should say, that know what they're doing here. And they certainly are that type of team. What was that? Um, ugly. But <laughs> again, no punish for it. So well, we, we talk about kickoffs. I don't know if that's exactly what we got. <laughs> no, but. no, send two to the same boost on midfield and then yeah. no one back. <laughs> Perfect kickoff. <laughs> Probably not going to want to see that one in like a waiting video anytime soon. No, either way. No. Uh, either way, man. Yeah, the, the focus for me now is going to be between that like twos and ones okay. conversation. And uh, I look at ones and it's like first killer is the assumption. And he plays a very frustrating version of ones as well, where he plays the other player more than the ball half the time. Uh, very disruptive bumps and stuff. And I, I think with the speed and the pace that we've seen so far from phase, I don't know if another player individually is going to be able to stand up to that. So I would assume you go twos to try to give yourself a better chance. And that's still putting you up against first and AJ. So like, right. Is there a winning? I don't know. It clearly it's tough. No, uh, no. To finish your sentence, there is there a winning matchup? No, I don't think so for Pirates. I cut myself off. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to call it already. You know. Uh, well, no, but I mean it's obvious, right? I mean I think I think we all know this just going into this matchup. That's no disrespect. I mean, Faze is a world class team. Uh, I think a lot of teams uh, would have this type of effect um, going into Phase. But um, again, I, I do think it's a big learning experience here for Pirates. We talked about that um, for APAC when they've come into those majors, and look how good APAC has gotten in just the course oh, yeah. of one season, right? So the same thing with Pirates, too. And, and, and FaZe is a good team, team to kind of gauge your speed and your control because uh, FaZe will send players at everything and they'll do it with, with a lot of intention and they'll do it with a lot of control as well. Uh, so, again, the threes, the first matchup has always kind of been a good one to feel out what you're going up against. And I think Pirates now know exactly what they're getting is that one's going to fool the last man. I think it was AJ there on the goal line and it's Snowy going to put one away. Yeah, really good challenge here by Darth. And like you said, it, it looked like it was going to go in. So AJ just kind of throws himself at it, but uh, it is able to ricochet off and get a follow up. But yeah, I think to your point with Pirates, obviously this is the first exposure that they've had. You know, they would have went into the world championship in two weeks with no experience against international competition because they weren't right. able to compete in the majors. So I think the best part about this is that they are getting exposed to not only a bunch of different play styles, but also a bunch of different regions. and. Having that like real person experience, not only on stage and everything else, but also just the exposure to, okay, this is what a top team in North America plays like. This is what an EU team plays like. And then being able to bring that back, because it's one thing to look at replay analysis and say, oh yeah, they play fast, but he's flashy and showy. And there's gonna be a lot of cool things. But uh, the, the thing that makes him so threatening in ones is his ability to understand like how much time he has to mess with the other player 
before he needs to get back to the ball his spatial awareness of hey okay I, need, I can get boost here i can play it over here let me bump this guy out of the way and then do the thing so uh excited to see how this one evolves so we do have a little bit of a uh, gauge here for snowy he did play against fahad earlier and mm -hmm. he lost and uh, uh, i think what was a decent match four to six to fahad so i don't think this is going to be as clean as a win for first killer as maybe we expect it to be i think snowy's going to put up a good fight here but right. certainly an uphill battle here no boost first killer kind of baiting him in to try and keep this ball towards his side there it is him bowling and now he might just mm -hmm. poke it free no boost here for snowy tough position first killer going around looking to cut back pops it over his head still low boost situation snowy hanging on here and doing a good job quality tackle there just to stay with the play yeah, really, really smart play as well. Getting that one boost pad and gets the 12, but eventually he does get drawn out of his net. So first killer, able will play a shot, but you, you see that bullying presence on that left midfield boost, which is what I was alluding to, is as soon as he gets the ability to, he's gonna try to chip at you, try to get you off and uncomfortable. And then eventually all of a sudden he recovers perfectly and it's a shot on target. So uh, well played by first to get the first goal, but able to hold him off for a minute. See if Snowy can turn this one around it is a lot more of an intimate setting in the 1v1 now first killer full boost certainly going for a flip reset here gets it once far post shot and a good save there from snow easily red first killer forced to retreat 67 boost going into this one gonna need more flip reset again and it's not the best flip reset snowy again turning him away and had a little bit of boost to work with there as he chases first killer off and an opportunity to counter on a couple of these again you could take advantage of, uh, I suppose, the cockiness coming out from First Killer, just taking a snowy head on in some of these flip resets. Yeah, I think that's part of the reason why First stayed on it is in that circumstance, because Snowy does have a little bit of boost for that recovery. If First just boxes him out of the way and he does it quick enough to where he's not going to get bumped, like there's no momentum going behind it, then it's going to stop him from being able to progress downfield. So good attempt there by Snowy stay stay the way and uh, kept off but again sweeping through trying to find something this first just lurks from underneath and unfortunately that touch isn't going to be it and it's good recovery and a good flick up by two yeah i think snowy will learn from that one uh you don't want to go for something you're not 100 percent on there because first killer will instantly turn it into a goal and you don't want to give them free ones you at least want to make them work for it right. and to credit snowy he's done a great job of making first killer work for it. first killer's kind of thrown a couple pot shot flip resets at him and snowy has turned him away every single time and now a kickoff goal incoming for first killer yeah these are the ones you really want to minimize again uh for someone who's uh i mean i mean my control is broken so i can't even speed flip right now so that's besides the point but uh if you're trying to learn kickoffs and stuff ones are so good for it because you see every little minute change and you're just like why am i keep getting beat and it'll okay. it'll force you to get better fast otherwise you're gonna just lose every game so uh should be able to return one here and it neutralizes it which is good for snowy but uh, the consistency of kickoffs it's an important one yep and snowy coming out on top he's gonna need a few kickoff goals to stay in this series whether they come later or now so good work there just before halftime here in game two and, and honestly snowy's doing a great job here right i think a lot of people look at this matchup and say oh first killer is gonna 11 to 0 him but no it's three to two at the <laughs> moment know. another kickoff goal in four seconds and he's within one yeah again super clean good speed flip and hitting it square on the other important thing is it depends on where they're approaching from as well but when you're rolling into that kickoff you're trying to basically neutralize it in a way where not only does it like that least angle of resistance pops out in your favor but the big thing that's been going really well for snowy is with that flip and that air roll it's also landing on top of that next boost so that little bit extra 12 is allowed to get power behind it and uh put a shot on target before they can recover so really well done so far and uh has a really good read on that but that's unfortunately rough. uh just no boost pads on the way back and first killer even with it Oh, that bounce is just oh, so rough so, for Snowy. So unfortunate, yeah. That is, I mean, I think that would have fooled a lot of players. That's a tough one to read. That one came off so quick. It's so high as well. I don't blame Snowy too much on that one. See if we can get the kickoff magic going again. As again, first killer just taking advantage. A little slow kickoff here from Snowy. He's trying to mix it up. And again, these are the types of things you're going to have to do. It's going to have to be unorthodox. And this is an opportunity to get Snowy one time in. It's way too high as it goes just over the crossbar. But it had to be hit one time there. First yep. killer was coming quickly.
still some space oh, for his killer. Oh man, he used so much. He didn't use any boost at all. And a little 3, 180 there, I guess, into the net, back flip it in. First killer so patient. Look how he just doesn't use any boost here. Just stays behind the ball, stays grounded. Waits for Snowy to overextend and turns around and waves at him as he scores one. Again, it's it's that mix up. You talk about the chess match. It's even heightened more in ones. The ability to just fake challenge, wait for you to play, and again, it looks like a chance, right? First killer's facing backwards. All you got to do is flick it past, and then all of a sudden he break checks you, turns the other way, and all of a sudden it's wide open. Placement from first killer is too wide. Snowy time certainly becoming a factor here as he lobs one down towards first killer's net. He's held his own, though, here. It's been a valiant effort. And it's almost a minute upon us here in game two. First killer, low boost. Wants to see how he can get by Snowy. He'll just take it to the corner. Yeah, smart play. Only 18 boost. And if he didn't go for an initial shot, uh, too close to the net, it's going to hit that backboard. He's not going to have time to recover. So I uh, figured maybe a musty if he wanted to throw that in there. But can we flip reset? No, just a straight shot here. Again, you see all the fancy mechanics, but sometimes it's just forcing the issue right away is really good as well. As a, a good challenge by Snowy. Can he recover in time? No, first he's going to be able to get to it. And pop it up high. Here we go again. Third attack in a row here for first killer. So he's just bullied Snowy off the ball. Low boost here for Snowy, but enough to make something happen. Looking for just a tackle on Ooh. through, and it doesn't go in for Snowy. That was well played, but somehow first killer keeps it out. So unfortunate as well with only 20 seconds remaining, but an aggressive challenge for Snowy if he has the recovery. Oh, and somehow what? first is able to land a Goomba him out. It should have been a goal for Snowy. He had yeah. the jump. He had it. He was going to be there. And in the end, it really doesn't matter. It's still a three goal deficit or two goal deficit if he had scored it. First killer puts it off the crossbar one more time and puts up his sixth here for FaZe Clan in game two. And in the end, full control for first killer as the expectation is met here, comes out on top. I just can't believe he came off that and just happened to land on him because I don't think he was looking for it. I I'm not sure either. <laughs> this 1v1, I hope Pirates were thinking about their approach here to the 3v3 matchup. They now know what they're getting into with FaZe. See if they can put something together here in game three. Thought it was going to be a pinch to kick us off, but it is not. Either way, tons of offense from FaZe and a demo to pair. Yeah, as this one's going to get lobbed in the corner. AJ going to use that recovery. Doesn't need it as the teammate gets in, and it's a shot, and they let it go. It's actually just punished. That's what we're talking about. And Darth, what a shot placement far post. Yep. And these, again, these are the types of plays you have to take advantage. One for one here for Pirates. A mistake coming out of FaZe. A lateral ball like that down at the ground is very dangerous in any team. And given up over to Pirates. That's a great start for them. Still standard kickoff and kick right back to corner possession. An early challenge. Still pretty disruptive and just about everything with phase in the face, but that's a great read by Darth coming across right away and not letting it develop. A big clear in the midfield should have one more and it is played up high and potentially an opportunity for Pirates as shot played bottom post oh. and can't quite put it in. Could have been a two goal lead and now FaZe can try to clear this one out. Kept in the midfield. Good pressure by Pirates here in the first minute. Yeah, Pirates look great. Yeah, I, that's exactly what I said in the first few seconds of this game. I was hoping Pirates were thinking about their approach this 3v3 matchup and they have certainly looked a lot better. It's a shame it's not 2-0 here for Pirates as FaZe looking to get one back. AJ actually blocks that one in the end. As he's still trying to punch it out. First killer shot will get by the first man and he'll find the back of the net. Curious on the perspective of Pirates on this back one because it does look like AJ might pass this across, but he's leaving it for his teammate. He just goes right above it. Snowy tries to get a nose on it, but can't get up in time. And FaZe ties it up. So good start to Pirates. They punish on a mistake. Could have been two potentially, but the shot a little bit off. But still coming out aggressively. And a lot of these challenges being met in the midfield, which I think is the best thing they can do for now. Good pass here from FaZe. Across the box. Well read from Pirates. Dark now. Looking to dish it off. We'll flip reset there. Fortunately, not enough to get by first killer. AJ over to first killer. Still dangerous here for FaZe Clan. This one should be collected by Sipical. 
Pirates trying to hold on here. That pressure coming in from FaZe. They've done a much better job to keep their shape. You can see just the way Pirates are positioning. They're keeping players in the front of it, but when he carries it that far like AJ did, a good save from Pirates. Still enough to keep FaZe at bay. Certainly knocking on the door here as a couple more touches come through. Pirates finally poke it free. Back into the mix. First killer, another touch off the back wall, and it's a 2-1 lead for FaZe. Again, it's just one after another, Corelli. It does not end, and then of course, after all these shots, these flippery sets, whatever it is, it's first killer chilling on the backboard and has a beautiful redirect. So much offense, so many things you have to worry about. And even with the good challenges to stop a bunch of them, until you clear it downfield, you're never really safe. Yeah. And you can kind of see, you know, FaZe slowly closing in on that goal there. Now first uh -oh. killer coming down. Oh, <laughs> what my. Oh, what a save, though, right on the goal line. I can't believe first killer even got the touch. Another one dropped down. Another big save. Pirates putting up a defensive wall with some incredible shots coming out from FaZe. That was such an insane angle from first. Oh, what a play and a placement. Potential or not, all that pressure going as quickly as possible to play across body. That's a great touch from Sip, even after the bump. And everyone except for Darth getting bumped there uh, by Pirates, or by FaZe, rather. Uh, and unfortunately, <laughs> Darth just having to throw himself across the net there as the last man kind of caught out. 3-1 now for FaZe. Pirates looking for some offense. Again, they, they should at least have two here. Typical now looking for first killer again. Dangerous ball coming down in front of the net. Darth looking for a way out. He wants that pinch, and he'll get it. But for how long is the real question. Interesting out, but immediately thrown back in by FaZe. As a couple challenges in the midfield. Makes us go back and forth, but taking it solo, going to force at least one defender with, and they play it over the top. Touched by AJ and deciding to slow it down. It's a big flick. It's a wide open net. Oh, he got him. And they're going to get a goal. <laughs> and this is so smart from Snowy. He saw Sipical kind of cheat up a little bit on it. And when he caught him in the turnaround, he was dead all the way back to his net. Great flick there from Snowy. And probably the highest quality goal we've seen out of Pirates here in the 3v3 setting. Is they're within one with a minute and a half to play. Yeah, usually it's phase on that where they, as soon as uh, some possession looks to be had, they turn, they bump, they demo, whatever it is. But uh, for Snowy, as typical is going to put another one here, it was really smart to change that pace of that flow. Obviously, phase trying to play as fast and aggressive as possible. And all of a sudden, just that brief stint to slow it down is enough to punish. So. Again, more of that, but it's so difficult to do when FaZe plays aggressively to every challenge. Still within striking distance here for Pirates. It's a shame that they give up one so quickly after a fantastic flick there from Snowy. And you definitely don't want it in the hands of First Killer. One flip, two flips, and another touch. First Killer going through everybody. Nobody getting a touch on it. And First Killer finds the fifth, a hat trick for him. One flip reset to get past it. And it's so difficult, too, because you see Snowy go up for the challenge, right? He's in position. He's like, I'm going to cut off this angle. That's my purpose of this challenge. But because of the flippery set, it just keeps going a completely different direction. Either way, it slides down, can't recover in time, and a double flippery set goal is going to be the answer for FaZe as they put themselves up by three. Subtle touches. Eventually, a body does get in the way, but it's kept in the midfield. And can't get the clear back. So, it's going to be FaZe on offense. Good challenge by Darth. And it kicks out. Crossfield pass. I don't think first is even ready for it as it goes flying across, but this one going to land in front of the net. Luckily, still able to get back in rotation. A lot of offense again from FaZe as Pirates try to handle everything they can. And a lot of these touches up high, expending a ton of boost. Unfortunately, not going to connect on that one as it falls in the lap of first. And again, just another missed touch here from Pirates. Not getting it off the ceiling. Good follow up there for first killer. Of course, he's going to be there every single time. 41 seconds left now. FaZe running away with it here. Pirates, the writing's on the wall for them. A valiant effort, honestly, throughout, um, and especially in games two and three. I really like the 1v1 pick from Snowy. I, I, I actually, I respect that, you know, going up against one of the best 1v1 players in the world and just calling them out and say, I want to take you on and putting up a decent fight against first killer. Kudos to you, Snowy, as Pirates, this one coming to a close. Base Clan, boy, do they look good here against Pirates. 
Yeah, a little bit scary for everybody else who has to go up against them as they are going to be running through that lower bracket. Uh, final five seconds of this game going to tick down and just a formality at this point as Face Clamp is securing themselves one step further in this bracket with a 3-0 over the Pirates. And unfortunately for the Pirates, that means that their reign is over and are going to have to end it here wow. as Face Clan, of course. They say the rule doesn't exist and nobody talks about it. Nobody follows it anymore. But uh, giving it up in zero nutty. seconds. That is... Uh, <laughs> That's kind of insane from AJ. I'm not going to lie. I yeah, know it's a zero second goal. Crazy. And they're up by five now, six, or uh, up by five goals. But 